What is up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, um, given that uh, we're days away from season uh, 3, I thought to make a video that probably will be addressed to the casual players, people that have uh, time restraints um, and, you know, which uh, uh, probably play the game a couple of hours um, a week and want to make the most of it. Um, so this video is for you guys and I think um, uh, given that that's pretty much my situation as well um, I like to be as efficient as possible in my runs and making the most of it. So as you can see the game just started we're heading straight to the tier 3. Um, I would suggest with this particular strategy or this particular run if you do have um, uh, the schematics and the things that um, um, you've been grinding uh, up for in the past uh, uh, seasons uh, use them there are things that could definitely work for us given that if we don't have to play every single day the cooldown actually works for us in uh, in, in the best of uh, of schemes so use all of those items use the mags of holding um, use, use the eater blade uh, use your golden armor plate as well um, and given that also you might have some containment levels this also will give you a boost in terms of uh, the uh, amount of, uh, of essence that you start with so once you kind of activate this stuff I suggest just jump into the tier 3 area and grind a few of the contracts now it's very important to mention we won't probably spend too much time here just enough to kind of pile up some self revives um, um, and some casimirs and monkey bombs um, but as soon as we've got those items we'll jump straight into the dark ether we don't even need to buy all the uh, all the perks um, pretty much because we have the um, um, mags of holding on the uh, um, on the weapon as well as the scorcher so these things will definitely work in our advantage but just for the sake of the video, um, we are we are running the PW, uh, P, PSW, uh, which I'll leave the um, uh, the build at the end. Um, it's still an amazing weapon, still an amazing SMG. It's an absolute shreds, um, so it's definitely worth uh, uh, still playing with it. Um, and given that we are on some sort of a timer here, <laughs> you know, the reverted commas, uh, it's definitely worth having a weapon that allows you to move as quickly as possible, but in the same time. Um, have the damage output that you're, you're after so yeah just um, uh, try to choose your weapon here uh, as, as wise as possible and then again guys I mean it's not um, uh, something that uh, I will be sharing with you which is rocket science it's not something that um, you know it's, it's very difficult to, to pull um, if you're new to the game probably you would need some of these items to begin with um, or at least just the scorcher to help you navigate and move uh, faster in the area but um, yeah, if you have already played the game and if, if you've already uh, unlocked the schematics it's just probably the easiest way to um, jump in a game and in 20 minutes to kind of be done with you know um, the um, uh, uh, the tier 3 and the elder area um, I think the game can actually get quite long-winded especially if you're staying in uh, the full game uh, for 45 minutes plus the dark ether um, uh, which is another 15 minutes on elder and another 25 on the normal schedule that adds up and it's <laughs> probably a lot of time that many of us don't have especially if you have a, a full-time job or if you're a parent or um, you know if you do have other activities as well um, so I think we are sometimes uh, distracted by the fact that we are playing uh, a video game to relax or just to you know uh, um, um, spend some time and um, uh, enjoy it with our friends but equally when the game does take quite a long time to um, um, uh, to make um, uh, some progressions it's probably when it becomes um, you know, when I say that's enjoyable in my opinion. So hopefully this this sort of um, uh, run will help you guys to, you know, make the most of um, of your game time um, and, you know, just enjoy the the, 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 the hours or the, uh, the days that you're spending um, uh, playing the game with your friends or by yourselves. Um, so we're kind of lucky so far. We've got two... Um, bounty missions one after the other both of them were with the mega which definitely helps 
Um, so we'll probably try to um, navigate this as, uh, as well as possible. We do have a, a turret chip, so I'm going to try to put it in. Um, it's definitely going to uh, take a lot of steam from us, so let's put it in. Um, and hopefully this should help us finish things quicker. Um, also, guys, it's you know it's also worth mentioning um, when uh, when you do have the the, the mega as a bounty, try to get a higher ground. Um, usually, it's a spot that the uh, mega won't be able to reach, so you're just kind of um, taking the uh, the advantage of uh, um, of how the game is set up, and in this way, you're also equally um, making the most of uh, uh, finishing the, the the contract quicker. Okay, so we've got a few self revives now. I'm trying to see if these guys will want to uh, uh, join me or if they needed any help. But we won't waste any more time, so we're just gonna crack on, um, get a deliver cargo contract. This, in my opinion, still is the easiest contract to to do in the TA3. Um, it's uh, it's just super straightforward, isn't it? I mean, um, doesn't uh, doesn't take too much to do, and you can pretty much come here without any weapons and still do this contract. So, yeah, it's definitely um, the underdog of uh, of the area. There we go, guys. I mean, the uh, the weapon still uh, still does its part. So, so I mean, it's uh, it's it's definitely worth uh, considering well what weapon you you're gonna bring with you. This will make most of your your game time a lot more easier, and enjoyable. So yeah. Well, so as I said, this is definitely the easiest uh, contract to make. So, you know, as soon as you're seeing on the map uh, the delivery co cargo contract appearing, make sure you're jumping uh, all, all over it. Um, it's definitely a fast way to uh, to make some uh, some essence, um, especially in the tier three area where you know you, each of the contract is paid with uh, with five k essence. Um, Again, if you do have the containment levels, that helps as well because you you get uh, some extra perks and the higher the containment levels are, the higher the benefits. Um, so just always keep an eye on that. So let's jump and get this bounty as well. Again, guys, also the, um, the Scorcher does help everyone move around quicker. So um, uh, if you happen to have a spare case or if you have the schematic for it, um, will strongly recommend um, um, using it so you can you can definitely navigate things a lot quicker also how is everyone feeling about season three um, I uh, I know that we won't get much content ourselves for zombies but equally um, uh, it seems to be quite a lot of uh, things being changed in uh, in the game altogether so uh, i'm interested to know how you guys feel about this will you be playing some multiplayer or would, would you be playing some warzone i would definitely jump on the rebirth island um i think the uh, um you know there was definitely the um the map that built the the love towards the game so um i would um, i would love to uh, uh you know re-enjoy some moments on uh, on that map Oh, about you guys, are you are you looking forward to it? Um, of course, we'll be looking forward to the, the zombie content as well. But until then, um, I hope everyone will enjoy the uh, the update. Okay, so you see the mags of holding as well make a difference. Um, uh, I did rush a bit, so I didn't uh, necessarily replenish my ammo here. But we should be able to... Um, Finish the contract quite easily.
I've got a disciple though, so we need to get rid of him. I think I'm gonna get down. Yeah, run, run, run. Oh. I do always tend to get greedy when, uh, when it comes down to some of these contracts, so yeah. And there we have it, guys. Scorcher. Um, so you see, even you know, even if you don't necessarily have the um, um, the weapon case, you can always um, uh, try to make some contracts. And you know, if by chance you do find it in uh, in the reward drift, you know, good for you. I think. Um, it's not necessarily impossible not to uh, not to have the scorch and navigate the map quicker, but it will by all means make things a lot a lot faster for you. Okay, so let's just um, get some some supplies. I think we are pretty much good to go. Okay, let's also get the dog bone used and we could probably get one more to it as well. Perfect. Cool, so let's uh, let's jump straight into it, guys. I think um, it will surely help us um, um, having all these things prepared. So probably uh, it will take us uh, another 10-15 minutes to also finish the other. So, um, yep, so far we are on 12 minutes on tier 3. Um, so there we have it in 12 minutes. We can definitely get ready for the actual uh, elder um, and shortly after um, uh, finish our assignment so see you guys in a sec into the uh, elder area Right, so let's um, jump straight into it, guys. First mission, as always, is the bounty. That's the closest to the portal. Um, once we have this activated, um, usually it would spawn uh, Mega. Um, it occasionally did have some some situations where we had the Mangler um, or um, or Disciple. I have to say the Disciple is more often found in the normal sigil. Um, but the Mangler and the Mega are both found in the Elder, so um, it, it just depends on um, um, on uh, on your luck, I guess. Okay, so now we've got the Mega, so probably the easiest way to get rid of him is to try to lure him out of this um, this pit. Um, and once you have him out here, it's just easier to navigate. Um, um, the laser so let's try to bring him out okay we're gonna use our energy mine Yeah, so definitely the magma folding uh, do help us really well in these sort of situations. You're pretty much having a minigun 
Um, so no having to worry about reloading is definitely one of the things that uh, um, it, will, um, it will help you. Also, reason uh, this is another reason why to bring um, other things with you, such as the golden armor plates or uh, the ether blade. Um, you know, having the worry of uh, plating up um, um, all the time, that's, uh, that's another good thing. Um, as well as uh, having those tight situations and the ether blade to save you. So um, just think about this stuff in advance. And, you know, as I said, if you do have the schematics, try to uh, uh, farm them and bring them with you. Um, and of course, if you're a new player, by all means, uh, always ask uh, the questions in uh, uh, in the chat to see if anyone is willing to help you to jump with you and help you unlock these schematics. Um, as well as, you know, asking people to see if anyone has some spares that they could drop you. So, um, it's always something that uh, I'm sure people are, out there um, uh, are willing to help with. And, you know, uh, we've all been there, we've all didn't have uh, anything. Uh, so, you know, everyone has learned from everyone and um, at the end of it, everyone is kind of playing towards the same goal, which is you know, getting these schematics, farming this loot. So, yeah, I'm sure people will help out. Um, so nearly there with, uh, with the Mega, a few more shots and we are done, just need him to open this last eye. So this is what I also meant about the uh, kind of higher ground spots, even if it's you know just a fence, it does help in situations like this because um, it just prompts the Mega to uh, pull the laser out and it does allow us to um, to make sure that we can uh, kill him so it's gonna have to move out of there we've run out of bullets as well I often forget that even though you have the Mega folding you still need to find some bullets on the floor um, so you know, try not to do my mistake. I, uh, I get too comfortable in one spot and um, I don't tend to move afterwards. But it's definitely uh, advisable that you have to make the most of uh, your environment. And as soon as you kill some, some zombies, most of them will drop some, um, um, some ammo. So just make sure uh, to go where you have those, uh, those corpses on the floor and I'm sure you'll find um, um, some ammo to, um, to grab. Okay, so there we go, we have the Blood Runner uh, schematic and one of the keys. Self revive and a level 2 crystal. So it's great. I'm gonna have to get out of here. It's too much, uh, too much going on. Let me grab the crystal first. Perfect. Right. Well, the next contract, guys. It's um, uh, it's in the sleeping quarters. Um, it's a building um, that has this uh, extra bit at the top. Um, it's also the building that you would hear the uh, laughter, um, and it's got a staircase which leads you straight to it. So again, if you do use the scorch, it's really straightforward. But if you do happen to run around. Uh, you have an easy access point for it. Um, now, for this next mission, I always recommend um, uh, to just bring a turret. If you're playing solo, it just kind of takes away some uh, heat of you. Um, the the area can get quite congested, and um, you know, it, it definitely uh, helps out having some, you know, some support. Um, but then again, it depends on the ammo mode. If you uh, do have the elemental pop that helps um, or if you do have the brain root this also helps you, it transforms other zombies into um, uh, friendly zombies which will run around and, uh, and protect you um, so it just really depends on your game style but I, I tend to um, like the strategy of the turrets um, it just uh, helps you um, uh, take a bit of, uh, of the pressure away um, mostly it goes without saying, having a, a weapon that it's, um, uh, it's a high in mobility, it also helps um, because you can easy jump, easily jump uh, over the counter 
um, and uh, avoid uh, uh, tight situations. Um, but here it's where the serve revives are definitely the most worthy. Um, you might have games where you uh, might not necessarily experience any uh, any issues and you know um, uh, not be stuck in different situations. But as it happened now, you will have situations where um, by mistake you you get caught in like a corner, um, and if you don't have that serve revive to help you, you're 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 done. So yeah, just. You know, be be prepared uh, rather than uh, be unprepared, um, and uh, for, for for the sake of um, uh, another five or ten uh, ten k essence, uh, just get. Okay, so we're nearly there. Oh, we should have gone into the fire. It's fine. We finished the contract. Just worth mentioning that every time we dr we drop in this mission. Uh, the counter stops um, and we do have another uh, blood burner schematic so this means in this last mission we should get the other two schematics so let's see how this plays Okay, so just pop out one of the Casimirs. I don't really uh, need to use any weapons um, in this last mission. Um, so this should be a uh, fairly straightforward, guys. Okay, and the last one. And there we have it, guys. We've got the VR11 plans and the mags of folding schematic. So, yeah, it, it can be easily be done in one run. Um, again, if you do have some of the other schematics to help out with um, um, with uh, building up your your stash great um, but you can definitely um, acquire the other schematics here um, so there we have it guys i think um, uh, in a nutshell this is what we can achieve in, uh, in about 20 25 minutes of gameplay um, so again if you're short of on time and you know you just want to wind off after a, a day of work or you know uh, after kids went to sleep you can do that in, uh, in definitely uh, uh, no time so yeah just uh, hope everyone enjoyed this video found it useful if you did please do like please do subscribe and as always uh, please do leave your comments down below um, thanks so much for your support and uh, and help so far with the channel um, and see you guys in the next video soon